Mark, quickly, Mark chapter 11, verse 23. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, whosoever shall say, whosoever shall say, whosoever shall say, go ahead, shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass. Those things which he saith, those things which he saith, uh -huh. shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he, he says. He shall have whatsoever he meditates. No. He shall have whatsoever he thinks about. No. But shall have whatsoever he says. Whatsoever he says. Whatsoever he says. Whatsoever he says. What is coming out of your mouth? You are complaining about your environment, complaining about your nation, your leaders, everything. What are you saying? Your environment is toxic because you are speaking death. You are speaking death to everything around you. Everything is dying around you because you are not speaking the word. Jesus said the other day, the words I speak unto you, they are life and they are spirits. Psalm 107 verse 2. Psalm 107 verse 2. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the redeemed of the Lord meditate so. No. Think so. No. Feel so. No. But what? Say so. But what? Say so. What? Say so. You got to say it. He said, declare thou that thou mightest be justified. You are not justified till you say it. Romans 10.10. 10. Romans 10.10. 10. Romans 10.10. 10. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness. Uh -huh. And with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. With the mouth. Confession is made. With the mouth. Confession is made. Talk to me. With the mouth. Confession is made. So it's not enough to believe. Even demons believe. Even the devils believe and they tremble. So believing what you are reading is not enough. If you believe it, you are not saved until you confess it. If you believe it, confess it. If you believe it, say so. And when you say so, salvation is a continuous thing. Salvation is progressive. Salvation is progressive. So you are saved. You are being saved. You shall be saved. It's a continuous thing. So you don't confess one and say that is it. You have to keep saying what the word says. Until you, it becomes what the word intends to be. You got to say so. Proverbs 6 2. Proverbs 6 2. Thou art snared with the words of thy mouth. With the words of somebody's mouth. No. With the mouth, with the words of your father's mouth, your sister's mouth. No, sir. With the words of your enemy's mouth. No. But whose mouth? Your own. Say my mouth, my mouth, my mouth. Say my big mouth, my big mouth. That's your problem. Your mouth. You don't have the right to just say anything you want to say. If you cannot say what the word of God says, then shut your mouth. Because the devil deploys and employs your mouth to curse your environment and to curse yourself. Teachers are cursing their students. Some time ago, one of my kids were having problems at school and the teacher kept cursing him. Saying that he's not good on this subject. He'll never be good on. And I removed him from that school. And I went to the school and I said, Teacher, you are not God. You are not God. And you weren't there in the beginning when God said, Let there be light. And I take the power and the potency and the efficacy of your words. And I abort it. I break the effect of these words. I took him out to another school. He excelled in that same subject. When he graduated, I took him back to that school and told the teacher, I told you you were wrong. 
And I said, I know you can read. Read and see his result. The same subject you said he will never excel in, he excelled in it. Any teacher, any master, anyone that has spoken a curse word over you, let it break in the name of Jesus. Let it be repealed in the name of Jesus. And if you have spoken a self-imposed curse over yourself, by your own words, or by your children, your loved one, your church, or your nation, let it be repealed in the name of Jesus. Say, I repeal, repeal. Put your hands together and say, I repeal it. I repeal. In the name of Jesus, say amen. Thou art snared, snared with the words of your, thy mouth. By the words of thy mouth. And thou art taken with the words of thy mouth. You are captured by your own words. Say, I break out. Say, I break out of every snare and captivity. By the words of my mouth, say, I untie myself. I disentangle my life, my children, my wife, my husband, this house, my nation. I disentangle my destiny as a result of words of my mouth. What is it that you are saying? If you don't have anything to say, shut your mouth. But when you open your mouth, you're on trial. Whenever you open your mouth, you are creating, you are blessing, or you are cursing. Your words are weapons. Your mouth is a tool, and it must carry the word, and the word only. Proverbs 18, 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. What does that mean that those who love it? It means that if you take pleasure in just talking, 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 whether you are speaking death or you are speaking life, you will become a partaker of what you are saying. So take heed to words. Luke 6, 45. Luke 6, 45. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good. Mm -hmm. And an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is evil. Mm -hmm. For of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaketh. So whenever you speak, what is in you is, listen, I know who people are. I can wait. I don't need revelation. I don't need discerning of spirit or word of wisdom or word of knowledge. I can tell people's level of spirituality when they are under pressure or when they are stressed out or when... They are in pain or offended or afflicted. When they start talking, I can weigh them easily and tell where they are. I'm telling you. I can. And I'll show you why. Come with me. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Look at this scripture. Colossians 3, 16. Colossians 3, 16. Let What's the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom. Let the word of Christ. So if you, if out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks, and the word of God dwells in you richly in all wisdom, it doesn't matter what you are going through and what happens around you. You will speak the word. The word will come out of you. It's not frustration that will come out. It's not fear that will come out. It's not doubt that will come out. It's not unbelief that will come out. It's not uncertainty that comes out. It is the word of God that will come out of your mouth because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. What dwells in you? What is in you? What is in your heart? What is in your heart? What are you speaking? Your words count. Your mouth is for the word of God. Not for your feelings or your ideas, but for the word of God. Amen.